Your lesson essential question is how can addition patterns help you find addition facts? So we're going to be looking for addition patterns today using the addition table. This is the addition table. And we're going to talk about how it helps us find addition facts. So um, you may have used the addition table before. But you know if you're finding, um, you're looking for the answer to a specific addition fact, say 3 plus 4, you're going to look on the chart. So we're looking for 3 plus 4. So we'll look for 3. On this side, we'll look for 4. Whoop, on this side. And we see where they meet. So 3 comes over to here. Oh, and there's 4. So my answer is 7. 3 plus 4, oh, my 4 got a little messed up. 3 plus 4 equals 7. So let's see how we can find patterns on the addition chart that will help us find the answer to addition facts. So I have this addition table. How can you describe an addition pattern for all the sums of 6? So we are looking for sums of 6. We know the sum is an answer to an addition problem. All right, so looking for 6 as my sum, I see that I have 5 plus 1. So 5 plus 1. We have 4 plus 2 equals 6. We have 3 plus 3 equals 6. We have 2 plus 4 equals 6. And then we have 1 plus 5 equals 6. Do me a favor. Turn to somebody in the room and tell them what pattern you see here on your addition table. You can see that the sum of 6, they're all in a diagonal line, which is pretty cool. And if you look, 7s are the same. We've got 8s, 9s, 10s. They're all the diagonals are the same sum. Now, that means that to get 6 for each fact, we have to take away 1 for the first add-in and add 1 to the second add-in. So if I look at my facts all the way down, they go in order, counting backwards, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Now my second add end, they go in order getting bigger. One, two, three, four, five. So five plus one is six. If if I take one away and make it four, I've got to give one to the second add end. So I make the one a two. So my first add end goes down by one. My second add end goes up by one. Pretty cool pattern. You're going to be practicing this today on your practice pages.